Hey everybody, welcome back to another video from Breezy Organization. So we're on here again today. It is Saturday, so we have new releases. Um, so I did not get my mid midweek video up again this week. This seems to be a definite pattern with me, but I do have some good news. The reason why it didn't come out this week is because I'm working on two different types of products that we haven't technically offered here at um, Breezy Organization. Um, uh, it's something you're familiar with, but it's a new way of doing things. And so, and so uh, it took me a little bit to figure it out. And so that ended up taking more time this week of my work schedule this week. And so the extra video did not get filmed. Uh, well, it's filmed, but it's going to be released this next week. <laughs> so um, you will get to see a midweek video this next week because it's already done. So um Anyways, enough said, my weeks get crazy and I get my core core stuff done and then there's usually extra stuff and I kind of pick one. And depending on the day, if you do anything, um, if you've messed with creative stuff very often, you know that you have days that you're super creative and you know that you have days that you are not. And so um, I was creative this week and so I definitely wanted to hone in on that um, instead of having a midweek video out this week. So um, we're gonna save that for next week. But anyways, if you're new here to the channel, we talk about all things digital planning and productivity. I personally use my Apple iPad Pro with an Apple Pencil, but this will work across many different devices. I encourage you to go to breezyorganization.com, download a free planner notes planner and some stickers to kind of see if this is something that you might benefit from and something that you might enjoy and to see if it'll work on your product um, so getting right into today's releases we do have um, several releases for you guys today some that I think you guys are gonna be super excited about because they've been asked about and um, a sticker set that I think you guys are going to um, have fun with so this is a look at my week um, a lot of times I'll open the video with showing how my week turned out um, nothing really special about this week I still Still pretty consistent with what works for me, which is what I encourage everybody to do. Do what works for you. I really focus on my top three things every single day. That is my goal. And if I can get those three things done, um, I feel accomplished. I feel like I can go spend time with my family. And that said, now I do have work hours and that sort of thing too. Um, but then that's where I pull from the list of extra things that need to be done, uh, but maybe not so urgent. So this is what works for me. Do what works for you. Okay, so let's get right into the releases for this week. First, let's talk about our sticker pack. So we've got a cozy gamer pack. So we actually have had this suggested a couple of times and we thought it seemed like a really fun kit to do. So if you like to game at all, this is definitely the pack for you. It's gonna be lots and lots of fun. We've got lots of different stickers. Some of them are stacked on top of each other. So we've got this really cool light background, which I can just see doing all kinds of stuff with this sticker here. Um, this is probably one of my favorite stickers in this set. And then we've got this really cute um, candle here. We've got this little beanbag chair. And then we've got this really cute desk. So this would be whether you game or not, you could use this really cute desk. I love the background and stuff on here. It's got the little keyboard, uh, very boho, cozy um, vibes in the sticker set. We've got cozy gamer hat. We've actually have two of these. We have one like teal and one white. Um, and we have gamer girl. We've got this cute game system here. And we've done several different variations of it sitting on something. Um, and then we have another version down here at the bottom. We've got another cute candle that says warm and cozy. We have an adorable little case. We've got a controller here, cozy gamer with a keyboard, um, the cute headphones, which would also be excellent for um, podcast and other things that you would like to use that for that sticker. We've got a warm and cozy mug, uh, game time. And then we've got this really, really cute. I love the like aesthetic of this kit. I love how it's more boho themed, but you do have this really fun colored one too. If it's not so much you, but your kids, um, and you want it to be a little bit more fun colors. This is why we did a really cute, fun color one. And then we've got all the little games in the little pack here. Another system down here, a footstool, uh, let me move this up so you can see it. A footstool and then just a really cool cozy corner sticker. So all of this is one sticker. Nothing's individual on this one. A cozy little corner sticker here. Um, so that is a look at our Cozy Gamer 24 and you've got the hex codes up here along the top. Our next release is, I know we're almost into March, but we still have requests for the iPhone planner. I wanted this planner as well, but to be honest with you, I was so burnt out after the six planners I think that we offered this year I just didn't I couldn't do it right then I knew the linking would be off and so um 
we waited until now, but since we are still getting requests for it, we went ahead and um, came out with it. So we have it, the iPhone planner in Sunday and Monday start. It's very similar to last year. We only made a couple of changes. So if you have last year's iPhone planner, it's going to pretty much be the same way. You've got January through December up here at the top. You've got this plus icon. It's going to take you to like the index. I'll show you that in just a minute. Um, but you have all of your months that you click on up here. And then the things that we changed is um, several people said that they did not like how the weeks were linked. So last year, this whole, if you clicked on any of these days, it would take you to that week. And I think some people were accidentally clicking on them or if they were trying to hold down to, to paste a picture or wording, it wasn't working very well. Uh, so we removed all of the links from here and we have them up here. So we have the one through six weekly um, dots up here that you can quickly access any week. And then of course we added in those shortcuts um, for Google Calendar and Apple Calendar here for adding in events so you can do this on your phone um, to set up that shortcut you've got to go to this first page here and it tells you all of the information down here at the bottom to get that started uh, so every month is going to have those weekly links for that specific month and then you've got the two um, plus icons here like I said, nothing is clickable down here. You're not gonna be able to get to your days or your weeks. It's really too small for your finger to really work like that in my opinion. Um, so I moved the weeks up here. And then if you need a day, when I'm using my iPhone planner, I'm normally not decorating it to keep. So how I develop the daily on this is if you click on the plus icon, you're gonna have a daily page right here. So what I did last year is I made this really cute and I just changed it up every once in a while, but it also made me have a, a complete decorated spread every single week and I would just change up my checklist I would have a checklist that I made here like on my iPad a lot easier um, with like decorating it and then I would just have to simply tap on the text delete the to-do and rewrite my new to-dos for that day so that's how I use the daily um, but again you can duplicate these if you want to keep the dailies but they are not within the months or the weeks in this planner. And then if you go back to the index, you've got one through 15. This is great for any of our original widgets that you can click on and you can add our original widget shapes or just use these for any type of um, keeping up with notes or pictures or any of that sort of thing. So you got one through 15 along here at the top of the side to get to it quicker, or you can click on the plus and see what your actual labels are for those tabs. And then the weekly layout, let's go to April and we're gonna click on the third week of April. Um, so you'll see it has got all the numbers in here for you. You can decorate the top and then you've got all of your days, plenty of space to be able to add in. And it's very nice for your fingers. Um, it's not long and skinny. It's it's the right size for messing with it on your phone, in, in my opinion, in my experience. Um, so let me go back and show you the phone from last year. So this is um, the last spread that I did for it in December. I got too busy during Christmas. Um, but I had like this whole decorated for December so I could keep it this way. And then, um, actually you can see that I kept it this way because I still have the wrong days marked up here at the top because this is actually the 10th through the 16th. Um, but I would just on my phone be able to click on these and change out, um, what my list was and then mark them off for that week. So that's how I use that. And then let's see what would be a good monthly spread to go to probably October. Okay, so clicking on October, this is kind of what a month would look like. This is designed to fit the same way as our portrait planners. So if you have a portrait planner on the monthly view, you can copy this over and just paste it right in here and it's gonna be the same size. So let me show you how that would work. Let me go back to the new iPhone planner and let's go ahead and click on February. And I'm gonna go to my current planner and I'm gonna go to February, okay? And then what I'm going to do is make sure I've got everything turned on here and I'm going to copy everything down here or on the days first. So I'm gonna hit copy and then I'm gonna go back to the new mini life and then I'm gonna hold down and hit paste. All right, so this is going to be sized the same uh, proportions as the iPhone planner. So you can see that this obviously is not the right size. It's still a little too big. So we're just gonna move all these down just a little bit and kind of figure out where that proportion is. So if you've got like a corner thing, it's really easy to judge by that. So I can just kind of match that corner up and then see that everything else is really pretty good. So I'll just click off of that and then you've got your whole phone um, decorated. You can go back and you can grab the bottom portion if you want to grab it. Hit copy, hit your iPhone planner, 
hit paste and it brought that doggy over again. I'll have to move that doggy. And I am going to delete this doggy and just keep that one there. And so the calendar part is proportioned the exact same way. And what I'm gonna do is just copy this and hit paste. And I'm just gonna add some more down here at the bottom to kind of finish filling that in. And then if I wanna go and add some washi or something else down here at the bottom, I can. But now this is gonna be viewable on my phone. So what I, I did really like about this last year is being able to look at my planner on the phone size. Um, so just copying over, especially these months. Um, so I had my main dates in there. Uh, so every time I would, you know, finish decorating this, I would go ahead and put it on my iPhone planner. So that that is a long <laughs> explanation of the iPhone planner, but we do have it in Monday and Sunday start for 2024. It's available in the description down below on Etsy and on our website. So you can pick that up today. Now for our last release today, this absolutely cracked me up because y'all don't miss any Anything. I had my planner pal open and I had some icons on here and I had somebody comment, Hey, uh, where did you get your icons? And so, um, the, I tried to make up some products in advance. So I've actually had these made for a few weeks and it just made sense to release them for this week. Um, but I do have a pack of, uh, pal icons for you guys today. And I'm sorry, I do not remember who asked where I got them from. Um, I did mean to respond to it. Uh, but now, you know, <laughs> it was a future release. And so now you guys can get them today. These icons are really hard to find because they're not lined icons. They're filled in so you can see what they are. The lined icons don't show up very good, um, in my opinion. And so um, I like these fillable icons. So we do have a new pack and I did do white and a charcoal gray this time because I realized that some of the light colors on here, it works better to use a darker color. Um, so we do have those available for you today. They're called pal icons. It's all in one listing. And I believe we have like 26, 27 icons for you guys today. So if you scroll over, you're going to see the white and then you've got the dark charcoal gray. If you scroll over again, I had two extra icons that didn't fit on the other pages. So you do have three pages, but there is a blank spot in the middle that's meant to be there. Um, you just have these four stickers on this page. Um, so I'm going to show you what these look like. We've got another camera and that's just because I love cameras, y'all. <laughs> Uh, so we've got another camera, uh, we've got passport, an airplane, we've got a paint supply, a suitcase, a camper, messages, which I really love. I feel like that one could be used for lots of things. Uh, headphones, a medical bag, a hat, a little old time video camera, a car, another really cute suitcase, microphone, a farmer's market, um, a lock for like a passwords um, pal, a gaming controller, a stethoscope, a laptop, a paint roller, a cute little doggy, a film strip, and then like for a spa day or self care, love that one. And then uh, another camera, different type of camera down here. So we have those available in white. And then the third page, we have a little film thing that you could put a picture in or just use it as the icon. And then this one kind of gives a nod to YouTube. So um, like our new YouTube pal. So you could use either one of those to um, put on that one or any of the other ones. Uh, so let me show you what this is going to look like. Let me go ahead and open this up into split screen. Um, and I'll turn this sideways and show you guys next to my planner pal. So here, I've already got a couple of them that I tried out. Here's the film strip one um, that's going the other way. And then here's the cute little hat. So like if you have a wardrobe or winter wardrobe, those are really cute for that. Um, so here we've got this really cute camera. Um, so that's what that would look like. These turned out so good, guys. I absolutely love these. Um, your little passport. I absolutely love the um, airplane. The airplane's at a really cool shape. And it just fits the pal so good. I love the way the little airplane looks. And then we've got a cute little camper icon. Super cute for travel. Um, let's see. I don't have to do all these. This is a medical one. Uh, this suitcase has to be one of my favorite suitcases. It's super cute. Um, so if you got your packing list or travel. Uh, the dog is really cute. The self-care is adorable. And I don't know if I'm going to use the actual YouTube one or if I may use this cute little video one for my YouTube pal. So I do have to figure that out because I have my YouTube pal actually underneath this one. Yeah, I have my YouTube pal underneath that one. So that means I need to use the darker version. Which one I want to use? I'm either going to use this one or I'm going to use this one. 
I think I'm going to use this one. I really like this one. And um, I'll have the name, you know, YouTube Power right here, which I can go ahead and make. So let me make sure images is off. And I'm going to copy and paste right here. I'm going to type in YouTube Pow. And then I am going to make that a darker color. Okay, so then I've got my YouTube pal in there with that cute little icon. So we've got lots of releases for you guys today. The Cozy Gamer stickers, the new iPhone, and the pal icons, um, volume number one on those. So uh, really exciting stuff to help you guys get your planners a little bit more personalized and be able to add those cute icons. Definitely be looking for that midweek video next week and be looking for some new releases next Saturday. Thank you so much for joining us here. If you're not already on our Instagram or Breezy, O family page or here on subscribed here on YouTube. Be sure to do that. We've got tons and tons of videos, inspiration, tips and tricks, and just lots of stuff to get you going on your digital planning journey. Thank you so much for watching here today. And until next time, happy planning.